really delicious whiskey. Oh, thank you. So this is New Zealand in on on turn on Wakanda. No. Mm. Let me double check where it's from. <laughs> Welcome to our RV Sintra. My name's Jane. And I'm Jen. And we are tasting whiskey. Whiskey today. Oh, what have we got? I've got another. We've got an international whiskey, which is always fun. So this one here, we're out of stock of it now, um, but you can probably find it on some auction sites, but they'll be yeah. having more releases, I would imagine, the next yeah. few while. So this one, I've actually forgotten exactly what release this is, but it's from Cardona. Um, I think this is one of their very first releases. I think so. A really delicious whiskey. Oh, thank you. So this is New Zealand in on on turn on Wakanda. No. Mm. Let me double check where it's from. <laughs> is it not on here? In the Al Al Alpine. Alpine, Jen. Alpine what? <laughs> Canterbury. What? Because it's in a wine. Wanaka. Onton. Wonton like a wonton. Wonton like a wonton. <laughs> anyway, so it's from New Zealand, this uh, whiskey. Um, they are near a really cool thing, which is like a bra fence where people go and hang their bras oh, yeah. for different reasons. I'm going to double check the reasons, but I think there's some controversy <laughs> about it. <laughs> <Any old reason. laughs> it's old and you're rid of it. <laughs> which is great, you're making art rather than throwing it away. I think it needs to make a trip. <laughs> um, yeah, Cardona. So Cardona, they've been... Just we got this whiskey, I think this came out last year, like October time, maybe last year. Yeah. Um, and they've been making uh, also different spirits, so gin and vodka as well. They make some delicious liqueurs, which we try some <gasps> of, the yes. Rose Rabbit ones. Um, and they're all into sustainability. The lady who got the inspiration from it, she had like had a farm and stuff, and she just decided she loved whiskey and then went like traveling around into like the world to like learn about whiskey, went oh, to Scotland, cool. went to America and stuff like that. And then she eventually was like, right, we're ready. We're going to set up a distillery. I think anyway, there's probably more nuance and more oh, things yeah, that happened. Oh yeah, there'll be. But that's, along that's the way. cool. Imagine just doing that. Oh, I know. Great. Let's I do know. it. Right, we'll just keep up. Watch the space. <laughs> Watch the space. Um, so this one's been in Sharon and Bourbon. Anyone I've given this to try to, and there's been some people have said, try this and not tell them what it is. Mm. No one thinks it's three years old and 64.4% no, alcohol. When I tried it before, yes, it's a more full flavoured than oh, you would expect. It's so oily, it's so viscous, and it doesn't again taste like sixty four point four percent. I don't know. No, think definitely all. not. Um, and we tried their new make spirit, and it was nice mm -hmm. as well. Which you don't like new make spirits. Not usually like. I mean, it's not nice. what they're aiming for, no. is it? So it's normally like unfinished I mean, to an end. Yeah, taste unfinished. But that one you can drink in other things. Um, mm, that's light and fruity. Oh, I love it. But it's got a depth to it like as well. Like syrupy, really syrupy. syrupy. Um, definitely more in like the fruity orchard fruits for me than the more spicy yeah, flavours. Yeah, it's peachy. It's definitely it's peachy. peachy. Bourbon and sherry, mature to think, should I say that. Yeah. And yeah, 64.4%. Um, and it's in a wine region, isn't it? So are they, they're using yes. a lot of wine casks, aren't they? I think they're going to for, start doing that. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's clever, I suppose, if you, you may as well use oh, what's in the area. Totally, totally. They're saying... Uh, Borage, flower honey, which makes sense. It's got a kind of floral honeyness to mm, it as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Has a, a fresh note to it. Oh, I love that. I just think that smells like so sweet and like sweeties. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Like, 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 uh, like artificial sweeties, like sweeties your granny made. Yeah, like just barley sugars. Them. Yeah, yeah. Slange. Slange. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! It's so intense, but it's, it's so tasty. So intense! It's like when you bite into a sweet, and then like one of the sweets that's got goo on the inside, and it mm. all releases once you get yeah, really yeah, yeah. Because the alcohol is there, and you can taste it's like almost sixty five percent, but it's all accompanied with flavour. The smell does not tell you all the tastes that are going to be in there. Not at all. And it goes, it, like, that's still sitting and that's it probably just now ending since my first now first sip. Mm. And I can feel it warming. Oh, it's down. so delicious, that. It's just so oh, I complex. I think you feel the percentage maybe on, like, the warmth on the way down. Definitely but not, not in your mouth. But no. it's so, it's so full. Because I do, like, that's the size of bottle that they sell that in. Mm. 
and like it's quite pricey for oh. for what it is i guess importing it and things but um like uh, every <coughs> time i look at it i think like that's quite pricey for that size of bottle mm. but then when i taste it i'm like i get it i totally get it it's like um like a a nectarine cobbler mm. with mm. spice mm. and honey added to it mm-hmm I always get a nectarine water. mixed up with a tangerine. And when you said a nectarine cobbler, I was like, mm. I know oh, what, an orangey, an orangey yeah, cobbler. No, that wouldn't that's 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 that just be watery and juicy. Yeah, and yeah. Weird. But not juicy, yeah, a nectarine that's just, just no watery. Mixed up with my fruits. A nectarine's more like, oh, that's got like a lot more vanilla. baby peach, isn't it? It is, yeah. Baby peach is also a Mario Kart character. It's very vanilla now. So Even vanilla. Even more like nectarine cobbler. Peachy like, nectarine. Like oats yes. and fruit oats. and vanilla. Uh-huh. Oats, yeah. Like creamy oats. Oh, with custard on. It tastes oh. a wee bit yeah, like someone's got a shot of that dram, dram, drum shambo. Mm-hmm. Fucking bad around with a nectarine. Mm-hmm. But one of the nectarines that's been like a peach and syrup water, even though I know you don't get that, but that's what it's been. Yes. And they're baked with oats on top. Mm-hmm. That is it. That is it. Delicious. Syrupy nectarine, drum shambo and oats. Oh, it's great. That's really... And I'm so excited to see what they've got oh. coming up in the future, if that's, that's like so young, intense. young whiskey. It's so young, young whiskey. And full. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very delicious. And they've got a female distiller, which mm. I like. Mm-hmm. So yes, Cardona, mm-hmm. check out check out their brass mm-hmm. ends, check out the whiskey, the gin. And yeah, their gin's lovely as well. They do a vodka and their vodka and their liqueurs. We've got some of the liqueurs for tasting and the gin. I think. Elderflower liqueur. Oh, is the old. butter. Have you tried the butterscotch one yet? I liked it, but it wasn't as fast. The butterscotch one. The elderflower. The orange one. one's nice oh. as well. Totally yeah. I've tried that one, but unless keen on orange, but elderflower, amazing. Delicious. Really nice on its own in Mercedes mm-hmm. or stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Um, Thanks for joining us. Slange. Slange. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. You can catch us on social media as well at The Grail Tastings. Slange. And see you next time. And the woman is a woman that owns it. It's also a woman. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) 